Hey, so welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about TRT and kind of how it relates to mental health. Uh, I'm Brian, this is Alpha MD, uh, and so we we have a couple of patients who have really exemplified why it's relatable because um, you wouldn't necessarily think testosterone treats something like mental health because that's you know there's medicines for that right, uh, but we we have a couple a good number of patients who really have turned their dependency and feelings on like other substances around and it, it's mostly because of testosterone for them many people have said it's changed their life it's changed how they felt it's gotten them through some very stressful times in their lives whereas otherwise they don't think they could have and you know the main reason that it does impact mental health so well is because a lot of what causes if you don't have like a predisposed mental health condition where you just are suffering from it and there's nothing you can do about it therapy doesn't help that kind of thing a lot of things like anxiety and depression can be caused by external stressors and you can be put into a state where you are depressed because of how you feel about yourself how you feel about your life how you feel about a lot of things and then when you tend to start fixing those types of things instead of your pot boiling over it's now just simmering and you don't feel depressed and so that's how testosterone can kind of help that because you know a lot of people can feel tired and not have the energy to kind of deal with problems in their lives. Well, testosterone makes you sleep better, rest more. A lot of people have like a lot of visual issues with how they look and think that they're unattractive. Well, for the most part, testosterone generally pushes you to do the things that make you look more attractive, you know, drop fat, gain muscle, have more self-confidence. And then, you know, once you're desired by other people, that kind of fixes that issue, you know, with with mental health. There's also a thing to be said about like libido and how you perform with your partner and testosterone helps with that performance. And a lot of people are self-conscious and kind of get into their own heads when they get into that, when they get into that kind of like headspace and that can cause a lot of depression if they feel like their partner isn't satisfied. So like there's a lot of reasons testosterone, you know, can be related to mental health um i think it's just it's abundantly clear that low testosterone is intrinsically tied to uh well-being and um mental health so uh one of the more common symptoms that occurs with low testosterone is just a a, a poor uh, sense of self like brian touched on that sense of self includes um, your self-worth in regards to your relationship with your significant other and your sexual performance, um, your self-worth in regards to um, your your motivation level and uh, the desire you have for your normal things such as your um, your passion for your work, um, your uh, self-image in regards to um, how you appear in the mirror, how how virile you feel, and again how strong you feel all of those are again intrinsically tied to our self-image and who we are and so low testosterone um is 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 very central to all of those separate things and so um it's now standard of care for um if you see your doctor and you're complaining of depression and you're a man um it's standard of care for your doctor to actually search for something like hypogonadism because although depression is extremely common and, and absolutely does occur without low testosterone. Um, uh, it is also um, one of the more common causes that for depression that is actually a physiologic cause. So an actual treatable cause um, uh, or a medical cause for a mental health disorder. So um, one of the main issues that, that uh, comes up too with guys that have low testosterone that uh, have mental health uh, issues, um, and this is true for both depression and anxiety, is that um, if if you're being treated for either depression or anxiety, uh, the, the medications that are used to treat those conditions actually can cause low testosterone. So it's sort of uh, a bit of a catch-22, damned if you do, damned if you don't. You want to treat yourself to, you know, to feel better mentally um, but those things can sometimes lower your testosterone levels, which then again can make you feel worse. And so, um, in patients with recalcitrant 
you know, depression or anxiety, it's even more important to have your uh, testosterone levels checked because um, you may have started with just normal depression and then your doctor prescribed you something to help you feel better. But unfortunately, that medication is now suppressing your normal testosterone production and now you're hypogonadal. Um, or even worse, you had depression because you were already hypogonadal. Your doctor didn't test you for that. Um, and then they add this medication, which further suppresses your testosterone production. So um, long story short, I think the the lesson to be learned in in all of that is basically if you are feeling depressed or you're feeling anxious, you absolutely should you know talk to your doctor because there are you know treatments for this. But it, it's also important that you discuss with your doctor whether or not you know it makes sense to test you for low testosterone because um, again, like I say, that is. Uh, it is really one of the more common actual um, uh, treatable causes uh, for a medical um, uh, trigger for mental health issues.